Hello, this is Kevin, and today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic playlist for VLC. First off, you want to go get VLC Media Player here at this address. The website looks like this when you reach it. Um, second off, it's lucky for us that VLC uses the SPIF playlist format, which if you go there, the website looks like this. You can read all about how the format's done and how you can create your own, um, which is exactly what we're going to do today. Um, I have wrote about doing this on my blog, tangskingdom.blogspot.com, and we're going to go there to get the um, code we need to do, which is located right here. Okay, so um, before we even make our playlist file, we're going to have to open up my computer, and I'm using Windows 7, so it might be a little different on XP or Vista, but we're going to go to Organize a Windows 7, Folder and Search Options, and we're going to go to View tab, and we're going to uncheck the Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Press OK. Okay, now we're going to navigate to where we want to store this playlist. And I'm going to do a C drive. And you're going to go to New, right click New, and you're going to select Text Document. Um, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Playlist. And I'm just going to double click it. And I'm uh, going to go to my blog and copy that code. Make it a little bigger for you guys. And here's what it looks like. Okay. Basically, this is the header of all the uh, all the common, like, every playlist that VLC makes. Uh, you can name it whatever you want under title. Um, what we're more interested in is this part right here. The location. Um, right now, if we load this in a VLC, it'll dynamically load up any audio or media, like movies and such, from the drive K. Uh, let's say we don't want to do that, and we want to load it dynamically from a folder. And say we're going to load only 303's music. Right here, we're going to copy it where that's located, and we're just going to put it in, paste it in right here. And um, you don't need any quotes or anything around the location. <laughs> Unsure of why, but that's how it was made. And so now we're going to dyna dynamically load any music that's put into 303, and which means um, you're not creating a static playlist, which uh, only like has the music that you put in there when you create a playlist. This way, doing it dynamically. If you put more music into that folder, it'll it'll load it. It's kind of kind of like watching that folder. If you use other media players, it'll watch the folder for new music and it'll automatically add it to your playlist. This is essentially what it's doing, also. Okay, so now we have it an N drive, burn folder, and 303 folder. Okay, pretty good. Let's save this and let's go back to where we put that. And we're gonna change the extension of the file. So let's rename it. And instead of having txt at the end, we're going to put xspf. And it's going to Windows going to ask you if you really want to change this file extension, and you're going to say yes. Okay, now we're going to go into VLC, and we're going to go to Tools, Preferences, which you can also reach by Control P. And I'm using version 1.0.3. Um, all right. So at the bottom here is on so show shedding settings. I'm gonna click all and go down to playlist and default stream. We're gonna put the path of where our playlist is located, which mine is C drive. Copy that. Put it there, and I named it playlist or playlist dot x s p f. And we're gonna put click save. So what this does, it automatically tell or it tells VLC to automatically load this playlist when it starts. And for when we open it again, we're just gonna show the playlist so you can see that it dynamically loads things. Okay, I'll turn the volume down. Alright, so now it's reopened again, have the changes taken in effect. I'll turn it down so it doesn't So it's got N, here's all the 303 that it's in there. And you can see that it works. 
But let's say we want to dynamically load something. So let's go to my music. Let's put some some other music in there. Uh, let's put some Adam K. Take my mind. Copy that. I'm gonna put it in the 303 folder. Let's paste it here. All right. So now when we load VLC again, it should have that file in it in this playlist already. Take my mind. There it is. See? Okay, so what you can do with this, now that you know how, is you can automatically load CDs when you start VLC. Which is even cooler is you can start VLC with Windows. So right when you turn your computer on, VLC will start playing music for you. Uh, this works in junction pretty well with the VLC remote, since some remotes don't let you add uh, music to playlists on the fly. So this way, you can just load all our music into playlists and not worry about it. All right, so that's it for today. Um, you can check more out about this stuff on my blog, which is tangskingdom.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.